Welcome everyone from wherever you might be watching to here in East London and more specifically the Rush Green Stadium in the heart of West Ham's training facility. Today's action is the Hammers under-21s against Brighton and Hove Albion under-21s. I'm your commentator Tyler Morris taking you through it all. It's the start of a big week in the Premier League 2 for West Ham with back-to-back -back home games taking place tonight and Friday night against league leaders Manchester City. But first, the stern test of Albion, known for their ability to find the back of the net, helping them win two of their last three PL2 games. Time it's West Ham's turn to pin Brighton deep. And delivered it into the penalty area. There's the first real chance for the hosts. Appear Forsen with the strike. A strike that was always rising. But a fine pick up for Dan Chester's on the near side. West Ham pressing and they've won it back and it's a Pia Forson with a chance, which he can't take. The post denies him. But we've seen both sides pressing really since the first whistle. And it was a Pia Forson who created the chance there. Not only to hit the post, that it didn't follow up into in from the post. As here comes the Brighton Port corner. Mullins was free at that back post. Tully goes long for Brighton. Liang takes it down, but Liang gives it away. And it could be a fantastic late first half chance this for Brighton. It's Barrington who's leading the break. Still Barrington goes on. And what a fantastic block in there from Casey. Will he keep that in play? Looks like he might just with the first time ball. Hinchy for Barrington. Hinchy's going to have a go, and it was a fantastic strike, an even better save from Hedgy. He needed help defensively after. But that is a fantastic save from the West Ham number one. Can West Ham break the deadlock? Didn't beat the first man, but the Pierre Forson keeps it alive. And here's Swire, what a strike, what a goal, and West Ham United do break the deadlock. He scored in the 3-2 win here against Brighton last season. He scored again this time to give them the lead. And with goal number six in the Premier League two this season, it's the number 10, Kamarai Swire, who makes it West Ham one, Brighton nil. It was a Pierre Forson, the smallest man who kept it alive. And how about that for a finish from Swire? Us. They want it back and they're looking to go forward here with O'Mahony. Barrington. Nilsson will make the overlapping run. Everett's going to go for it. It's just wide via a deflection and the corner's been given. A touch from Clayton on the near side. He looks to advance on now for West Ham. And here's Mabama, and he's away for West Ham. Can he double the lead? You bet he can. It was never going to be a West Ham United game without a Mabama goal. It's 12 now for the season in all competitions. Nine in the Premier League, two. And two for West Ham on the night in control against Brighton. And Mabama with it again. But how about this from back to front? It was this initial touch and drive from Clayton which started it all. And when Mabama's in this kind of situation, he's always clinical. The man really who started that move for the second goal for West Ham. What can he do in terms of getting a third? Because this time he's found Swire. And Swire's in. Swire is denied. And Tani did well to recover, not once but twice, in goal for Brighton. Of course, he hit the post too. 
No Mahoney get there first for Brighton. He does, and he plays it on, and this could be a good chance for the substitute, Duffas, who gets Brighton well and truly back in the contest. As cool as you like from the substitute. And Duffas gets his first Premier League two goal of the season. We saw the West Ham second was back to front in terms of goalkeeper to attack at. Brighton have done the same. It was great hold-up work this time from O'Mahony. And Duffas, well, he was never really going to miss. And with just under 20 to go. Wonder how that changes things in terms of an approach from West Ham. That's brilliant from Okaflex. They might not need to change their approach because at the moment they could be in for a third. And it was just the finish that let down the substitute for West Ham. West Ham do well to win it back is Freddie Potts. It could be now a chance for West Ham United and for Chester's as he rolls it across. Is it in? No. Mabama appeals. Flag stays down on the far side from the linesman. Tally just about recovered for Brighton, just as Chester's does there for West Ham. A goal-scoring impact in particular for Duffus has brought them back into this game. They'll now look for away level as Duffus looks to go on. He'll look to turn provider. Packham. He delayed the strike and that's off the line. Heroic defending. It's the closest that Brighton have come to an equaliser. Barrington's going to get onto that first now for Brighton. Freddie Potts does so well there for West Ham, though. Swire. Okaflex has made a difference in this second half for West Ham since coming off of the bench. Swire. He scored the opener. He goes down this time, and the penalty is given. He remains down on the ground. Protests coming in from Brighton. Importantly, try and secure this win for West Ham. Up he steps and up he goes for a West Ham third. Mabama sending Tully the wrong way. As cool as you like to roll it past the Brighton number one. And restore the two goal advantage. As things stand, not allowing Brighton to have a touch. As Chester's looks to go in on the far side. And West Ham are looking to finish the scoring. They might get a second chance with Oka Flex. And he does get a shot away. It's a shot which is dragged wide at the near post. Samuels. Duffus now. He's got Brighton back into it once. And he'll think about doing it again. In fact, he's helped them in terms of getting back into it again. O'Mahony with the final touch. Brighton have another goal back. And they've got two minutes to try and save something out of this game. Great work down the left-hand side from the visitors. Particularly from Samuels to get it on down the line. It was a dangerous looking delivery. West Ham importantly get it clear. Callum Marshall looks for Mbaba. He was definitely on side. Here goes the number nine. He's on a hat trick, and it looks like he's going to go for that hat trick. And so close to getting it. He was isolated the whole time with two Brighton defenders there the whole time. And how about that? So close.